Good morning everyone and welcome to today's presentation. Today's presentation will be about the genus of bacteria known as Actinomyces and its ability to infect a wide range of hosts. We will also discuss its methods of antibiotic resistance and its cultural and biochemical traits. Let us get started. A prominent bacterial genus, Actinomyces are widely found in soil and aquatic environment and are renowned for their broad host range and antibiotic resistance. With its extensive medical and agricultural applications, along with its industrial importance due to its capacity to produce antibiotics, Actinomyces offer a variety of benefits in human and animal health. Actinomyces are known to exist in a diverse range of habitats, including soil and water in numerous parts of humans and animals. They are especially plentiful in the oral cavity and respiratory tract, as well as the gastrointestinal and urogenital tracts of humans and animals. Remarkably, these microbes have been seen to be capable of surfing with dolphins by clinging to the waves in the wild. Rod-shaped Actinomyces bacteria can form branching filaments, known as hyphae, which impart a mold-like appearance. These hyphae are also capable of destroying surrounding tissues, potentially forming abscesses. Moreover, Actinomyces also produce resilient spores which can survive in extreme conditions. These characteristics make the bacteria unique and potentially useful in industrial and medical applications. Actinomyces are a genus of bacteria belonging to the phylum Actinobacteria, typically taking several days to weeks to form visible colonies when grown on anaerobic or microaerophilic media such as blood agar or chocolate agar, they are slow-growing bacteria. Actinomyces colonies are usually small, smooth, and white or yellow in color making their slow growth and unique coloration important in identifying their presence in cultures. Facultative anaerobes, actinomyces are able to ferment carbohydrates to produce acid and gas, making them efficient decomposers of organic matter into soil. Unlike many other bacteria species, they are catalase negative, allowing them to survive in low oxygen environments. Biochemical tests are used to identify and differentiate Actinomyces species by their distinctive metabolic profiles. Actinomyces has demonstrated its ability to infect a vast array of hosts, including humans, animals, and plants. It is particularly prevalent in the oral cavity, lungs, and gastrointestinal tract of humans, but has also been found in wounds, urinary tracts, and other parts of the body. Actinomyces possesses a number of virulence factors that facilitate its potential to cause infection and disease, such as enzymes and toxins. Proteases, lipases, and hemolysins are three molecules that can break cells and degrade host tissues, which in effect can trigger lysis and considerable tissue destruction. Through these biochemicals, actinomyces can be rather hazardous for its hosts. Actinomyces are often susceptible to various antibiotics, Yet certain strains may be resistant to antibiotics because of the production of beta-lactamases or else mechanisms. In recent times, multiple antibiotic resistance has become more widespread, making it harder to cure actinomyces infections. This enhanced resistance to antibiotics is one of the many reasons why it is essential to take appropriate precautions and practice judicious use of antibiotics. Actinomyces infections, though not commonly seen, may occur in people with weakened immune systems or those with underlying medical conditions such as diabetes or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Interestingly, the incidence of actinomyces infections seems to have increased in recent years, potentially due to improved diagnostic capabilities. Actinomyces infections can be tricky to diagnose and treat as they often form abscesses and granulomas as a result of tissue damage or trauma. They have the potential to cause long-term inflammation and tissue destruction, which may require surgery in addition to antibiotics. Knowledge of the characteristics and habitat of actinomyces can increase our ability to diagnose and treat these infections. Actinomyces can cause potentially life-threatening infections, with the host immune system playing a vital role in combating the bacteria. Neutrophils and macrophages are the main cells responsible for engulfing and destroying the bacterium, 
However, the bacterial cells may resist our immune defenses by creating biofilms or producing proteases that break down host antibodies. Understanding how to best protect ourselves against actinomyces and encouraging our body's natural immunity are crucial. Diagnosis of actinomyces infections can be challenging to make as the disease progresses slowly. Laboratory diagnosis is achievable through culture and recognition of the pathogen, in addition to identification of their distinctive sulfur granules through microscopic observation of contaminated tissue and pus. Molecular techniques such as PCR can also be employed for diagnosis. Oral hygiene and early treatment of dental infections may help decrease the chance of actinomyces infection. Additionally, individuals with certain underlying conditions such as diabetes, cancer, or HIV may be at an additional risk and should ensure they are properly managing their condition. To help protect yourself from an actinomyces infection, it is recommended to practice preventive measures such as brushing and flossing your teeth, visit the dentist regularly, and get prompt attention for any dental issue. Actinomyces infections require treatment with antibiotics over an extended period, including penicillin, tetracycline, and clindamycin. If left untreated, they may result in the formation of abscesses, necessitating surgical drainage and debridement to ensure a full recovery. Actinomyces is a group of bacteria that can cause infections in humans and animals. These infections can be hard to detect and difficult to treat due to their slow-acting nature. Good oral hygiene and prompt treatment of dental issues can help prevent actinomyces from taking hold. If you think you may have an actinomyces infection, it's important to see a doctor right away. Thank you for your attention.